Okay, we got another one for you. We are cranking them out. We did the uh, hummingbird. Hopefully you guys got a chance to try that one out. They turned out really great. We had uh, my sister looked at it and said, you know, you hang it by its beak, but you could also drill a hole in there and hang it and have it bounce. So we'll play around with that. But we got a hummingbird. Today we're visiting another bird. We're gonna use the block three method. This is the pelican. I'll do a video on the pelican, but if you look up the videos and look up block three video, you'll see some clay and you'll see this little guy. This is what we're doing today, but we're gonna do a vulture. We need a hummingbird. It's time for the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> something, something rowdy. Um, I've done vultures. Let's see, I got some behind me. I got one here that looks over my bean pot. He's got a sombrero and made into a ladle. And he stares over all the beans. We've done some that are like uh, these are these are different. They're like steak turners. The vulture is a very cool bird. Kind of funny, a little bit sinister. He can be a little bit ugly, and that's not going to hurt anything. It's going to look awesome. Okay. But that being said, we're going to use the block three method. It is where we cut it. Things biting me. It's where we cut it from the top. This is block three, uh, three quarter inch. Okay. Two and a quarter is your length for your chunk. We're going to cut in a half inch from this side. This is going to be the, the legs and the tail. Okay. The other side at the other plane, we're going to cut it into thirds. You can go a little skinnier. These out ones, outsides are going to be your wings. You can leave the center one a little heavy. It's going to be your neck and your head material. Okay, they're three quarters of an inch deep cuts. Now remember, they can be a little shy of three quarter because you're going to bottom them out with the hot cut and the fuller. So you're going to push in a little bit, but it should be fine at three quarter. So, this is your block, and uh, this is our vulture. Same details we have on a lot of stuff is the wings. The wings, and I should have put shoulders of a vulture, is, are way up high behind it. It's pretty cool looking, but you got to, we repeat it all the time. Turn your Google on, go find you some pictures, find some good pictures if you want a real realistic Looking one, you're going to have to find actual pictures. If you want a little bit exaggerated one, which is kind of more my style, I, I like looking at the cartoon ones. So you'll see they have exaggerated, real high shoulders. Their wings are way up. They have a little bounce to them. They're kind of, they're a really weird bird. They're, they're, they're cool, but they're a weird bird. But if you get these details right, you'll have a vulture. The head and the beak, they have this little bald looking head. And they have a very strong, even my wife, we're looking at pictures. She's like, I didn't realize how strong their beak looks. It's like an eagle, like a, any of those predatory birds that rip things apart. Okay, we're not doing a hummingbird. This is like, <laughs> this needs a, this is a cold, cold stone chili. But the beak is made to rip things apart. It's an aggressive, the neck and the head and the beak. Okay, so... You're going to want it to be a little aggressive, a little bit strong, a little pointed. Uh, the tail, they have long little tail feathers. They're kind of ratty looking, kind of rough. This is kind of a little bit darker of the birds, I guess you could say. They, you want it to be a little bit rough, a little dark, a little scarry looking in my mind. Okay, uh, the tail and the body. They have this funny little body, and the cartoons are always portrayed as having a like pot belly, like they just ate a whole gazelle or something. You know, they got this little pot belly. They're kind of silly looking that way. I like that. So if we can get this block area to work, where it looks like you just ate a whole uh, a whole zebra, just like I look like, we'll make that work. Okay. The the pose, the posture, the image. I have. I guess because I'm old enough, I have like that, uh, what the heck is it, the Jungle Book? I think where they have the three vultures, I think they were played by uh, John Lennon and the Beatles. 
But they have these three vultures in the tree, and they're like, I don't know, what do you want to do today? I don't know, what do you want to do? It's like a goofy, serious looking vulture. That's what's in my mind, probably just because of my age. But, uh, and then the other one where there's that really goofy vulture and his mom, it's a cartoon where they teaching him how to fly and he's just totally goofy. Great big Adam's apple, big, just goofy little. I'll see if I can find a picture of those two and put them on here. But that's the pose, that's the image I have is, yeah, it's kind of a dark bird. He's looking for other animals to eat, but kind of silly and the same as a pot belly, as a long, exaggerated, goofy looking bird. So that's what we're gonna go for. Hopefully you guys will follow along, give it a try. Uh, we, like I said, we built several, but they're different. This also, if you go back to block three, can be left attached. Why you would want to leave it attached? Because a vulture stake turner, or a vulture on the end of a spatula, or a vulture as a cane topper, or wherever you want to go with it, would be pretty cool. So remember that this can be left attached to the block by leaving one of these attached to your main source. You have to make your cut halfway down, open this, cut in, it shows you in the block through video to leave it attached like the pelican is. It was never disconnected at its feet. So now you could do this. And this works with all the birds, block three. Now you can do, this works, this works. You can leave this attached. You can make this into a vulture. It is, you're going to have to open your mind's eye, turn that imagination on. You could get this into a vulture real easy. This is block number one. Especially if you watched how we did the hummingbird. You can really move this material around. This way works well. This way will work. There's a lot of ways to do these things. I'm just showing you some of the ways I do. I might build a vulture out of block one later on. It's just, you can see the amount of neck and head we got out of the pelican is what we want for the vulture. So let's go over, I'll cut a block. We'll start over there and we will build us a happy little vulture. So let's go. All right, so we're back at the anvil. I've cut out the block. Uh, I've followed that. It's two and a quarter and everything. The only thing I did do, I told you guys I would tell you the changes. Down here on the feet and the tail, I did thin it out. I took some material out just because I know I don't need that much for the tail. I'm not sure where I'm going to do with the feet yet on this one. But I know I didn't need that much for the tail. I can stretch that. That's enough material. So we've made our half inch cuts here. We've got our center for our body. We've made our three cuts, two cuts on the top. Three quarters of an inch deep. Okay. So now we're ready to unfold it and build this little vulture. If you, it will not hurt any to make this out of clay. I, I tell people to hit the clay all the time. Get you a hacksaw blade, go over this, and then you'll understand your steps too when you open it in the vise and you get stretch in the wings. And I've already picked my feet side. Right, so I know that this is going to be the chest side. So when I come in and I fold her down on these, I know they're going to be here, just like that block three video. And when I built the uh, the penguin and the pelican, but mainly if you go back and look at the uh, penguin one, you'll have the idea for this block. But look, there's our block. Let's take it down, heat it up. Let's build a vulture. Shoot and die. No 
that's the leg. Move them out a little, but not a whole bunch. Remember, we're fullering these out, bottom out. And now we're going to come into the vise and we're going to fuller in the wings. That little bit, and that'll make his chest stick out. And some other things as we keep going. So we're just kind of defining the wings in the front really going to help define this. So this is his front. So this is going to be his chest. Now we'll go back from the top, open them up even more so that we can get access to everything else. Push down. Okay, so we're going to try and push his chest right here in where we forward the wings. We just want this pushed in because we know we're going to be rolling his neck out quite a ways. Okay, so push that in a fair amount because we're going to be making some cuts. And pushing his head forward quite a bit. Okay, so we got to here. We fullered in these chest a little bit around this neck. This is the neck, okay? This is our material for our head and our neck. This is what's gonna make the vulture and the pelican and all those is, we're gonna take and make a cut right along here, just about halfway, okay? Right here, then we're gonna come up. We're gonna split this, imagine it in thirds. We're gonna come up out here Make another cut back about halfway. What that's going to let us do is have this material to stand up like a Z or an S shape. That'll give us our head and our beak up here. The neck material will be attached here and here. And we'll have to work this, but it'll still be attached. But it'll be here, the head will be here, and the beak material will be here. So one cut is here. One cut is right down at the base, 
about halfway. Okay, so we got one cut about halfway from the tail side. We got one cut up here. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Okay, so you can see how it's stretching. Here's going to be our beak, our head, our neck, and still attached. Got to keep it hot. Work it slow. Take your time. Okay, I just need to, I need to put his wings out straight. Maybe even up a little bit just because I need to work on his body. His body and his tail first. So the way this is going to work is we're going to be working from the bottom up. So if there's something you want to do to the feet, now is a good time. But we're going to start on the tail. I think we're going to be able to file his feet across so that he actually stands. But we're going to start on the tail. Body, wings, neck, head. Starting all the way from the bottom up. Alright, so we're going to come in and we're just going to pinch his butt. <laughs> just to kind of set off that tail. Pinch his rear end like that. Wash his body. Round him up a little. Okay, so we're just starting to pose him, so we're going to clap on his feet. He's going to move forward. Tail's going to go down. Maybe a little, little curl to it, but down. Now we'll push his... Wings down and try and get the tall shoulder. Okay, we got his wings kind of back. He's more in the, his posture that we wanted. His tail is straight down. That's what we wanted, so now we're going to move forward and work on the neck and the head. Come in at an angle.
get all the meat chunks off them and get them all cleaned up. Alright, well, if you follow along, you can make a vulture. We made a pretty cool little vulture. It's pretty tricky getting the head, getting your proportions correct, but it, it's a lot of fun. I hope you're forging fun. I hope you're having a good time. Try something new. It's tricky. You might get mad. You might throw one across the room. I got turtle parts all over. I got, it takes some practice. Knock one out of clay a couple times. Have some fun. Build you one out of steel. Here's our little guy from today. Uh, the turtles don't like him. <laughs> this dude is getting the heck away from him. This dude is going to be dinner. Even old Yurt, he's like, what the crap? But here's our vulture from today. Um, it came out good. It's fun. I did a little bit of sanding on his front foot and bent the tail a little bit. He stands up on his own. Um, just kind of sits there. You can spend a whole bunch of time on them. You can really get tweaking. You can really build feathers. But the material's all there. Everything's all there for you to build you a dead one. <laughs> build you a vulture. Uh, they're fun. That was a good time. Hopefully you guys get to try it. Thank you for watching the videos. Again, this one is out of block number three. You'll see it. It's some couple pieces of clay and a pelican. There's a lot of things you can get out of these. Urinal does approve. You just don't want to get eaten. So... Hope you're having fun. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully the information earned your subscription. You like what we're doing. And you're having fun. Turn your imagination on for it. Some fun. These are, these are meant to be fun. You give them as a gift. They, you should be able to look at them and they, they crack you up. You're taking a piece of steel and kind of giving it character, making it alive. And that's what makes it fun for me. I mean, that was a little block of steel a little minute ago now. It's definitely a little vulture sitting over here, you know. What are we going to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do today? Forge a vulture. <laughs> so, till the next one. Let's go.